Yo, this is a tunnel place! You know Gears! So we are in Dazzle, and Satan has left us because he was to go find some parts for Weltal, and he hasn't come back, and Faye is worried. So, let's not even try to kill more time, let's leave Dazzle right away. So he went to the desert to look for parts for Weltal, so we can just move Weltal away from uh, enemy forces if they were to come back for it. So just exit, exit Dazzle and head west, and you'll enter the desert, and some stuff will happen. Gears are jumping around. What are they? Are they have you gears? I'm worried about Doc. Guess I may as well follow those gears. Yeah, so this one's very simple. Just run towards the end of the screen where the other gears went to. And just keep doing that. It's pretty st simple, straightforward. How far has Doc gone? Now let's side those gears too. And then it's shaking. What's happening? look up in the air, there's a gigantic structure floating above us. And it's a very important one too. Some force field? What is that? Look at that! Now that structure right there is very important later on. Just remember that structure. What the heck is that thing? Here are some gears again. A different unit? Are they going towards the direction the saucer went? I better follow them so not to get a loose sight of them. Yeah, let's do that. So Faye just runs after them. And yeah, we are in the wild, so uh, enemies can occur. Now we are alone. Boom! Stop. Navy soldier. Beautiful. Might just use the death blows for now, because we don't have more AP. You need to level up first. See level 9 or 10, I think, when we get uh, 5 AP. Maybe it's later than that. Whoa! That's a quick one. Let's speed up. Ouch. This might hurt a bit. Oh, they have around 100 HP. Level 9. That's good. We need to heal a bit, I guess. These fishes do a little damage, so we need to be careful. So it's 97 now, so we're almost going to learn a new death blow, but we don't have enough AP to use it. We need 5 AP for the next two skills, and Retsu and Hagen. And then the next four after that we require 6 AP, which is going to take a while. Yeah, still 4, so that's fine. You also don't need to fight these enemies if you don't want to. You can always run away as well, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Just to get these death blows learned. So as soon as we level up with the little death blows learned, we can actually learn death blows and use them in our gears as well. I think Rajin looks a bit kind of pale in death blow. You see the death blows failures later. Much cooler, much stronger, and visually amazing to look at.
Does this desert ever end? We get dark soon, so I better hurry up and. What's going on here? Gears, a flying saucer, and now these guys. Hope Doc's alright. Yeah! Whoa! Uh, sorry about that, just let me borrow this for a while. Wow, Faye, such a scum person. Whoa! Hey, wait! Well, that's a bit better way to travel, but man, Faye's a scummy person! He just stole that bike! Faye doesn't give a damn. But as you can see, it takes time though. It's time to become very dark in the desert, and deserts are not known for being very nice place to be, even at late hours. Huh? Whoa! What was that? Uh-oh. I've been discovered! There's another unit! There's two of them! This is bad. What's with you guys? Aren't you overacting a little just for stealing a motorcycle? Ah... Uh. Wait! Welto! And Doc! Faye, I was looking everywhere for you. Doc, you alright? Yes, of course. Huh? Looks like we didn't have time to chat. Faye, hurry. Hurry and do what? I cannot use Weltel very well. Only you can use its full potential. Hurry up and get on board! Uh, Alright! And it's time for gear battle! And now we're going to see death blows in gear! So, unlike in character combat with uh, use of death blows, you can't use death blows immediately, you have to look at attack level first. So the first thing you want to do is to deal damage to get your attack level up. And then when you have attack level up, you can use a death blow comparison to what death blows you have learned. And these troopers can do kind of crap damage. Give multiple time stop, but you see they do like 15 damage when you have 1800, that's nothing. So now is your attack level 1. If we do a triangle now, then you use Raigeki. Whoa! Now that's some damage. Now be warned though, death blows will also consume more fuel, but generally it should be fine. You can also get uh, level attack level up by just using regular attacks, like even a square attack. Boom! Be nice. That's why you should need to level up your character death blows as well on the ground, because they will improve your uh, death blows on gear. Level 10 and Faye. And we learned Senoretsu! Nice! And you got a new spell as well, Inner Healing, which is a healing spell for uh, Faye. You can also heal yourself without using items. I don't know how, but I beat them! What the? Time to meet a very important character. And this is a gear we have seen before. Remember Lahan? Yep, it's that gear again. And who's that? Your hot blooded desire for battle has not been tuned, I see. 
Who are you? Right. I know you. You killed her. Her? No. It wasn't. Not me. I... Hmm. More weird transitions. You're the one from Lahan. Here we go again. My name is Graf, the seeker of power. You certainly showed how much power you had back then, Lahan, didn't you, Fay? How much power I had? What are you talking about? A greater power is what I need to fulfill my mission. I sent those girls into that land as a catalyst to awaken the power in you, to make contact with you. As a catalyst? You mean you caused that intentionally? That's right. The death of your loved ones. And you're powerless against it happening. The grief, the screams from your heart born out of the tragedy. There. That was the catalyst for triggering your power. You mean you attacked my village just to get me in that gear? Why? Why did the village have to die? Who cares why? It does not matter how many of them died. They were wretched vermin. Only living from day to day without even fulfilling their prescribed destinies. And what have you forgotten? You were the one who destroyed the village. I did not lift a finger. No! I was just trying to save the village and its people. I never intend to destroy it. Is that really so? Surely you have heard it? It is the very essence of you. The voice of desire from within that craves destruction. Shut up! Even if that were true, aren't you still the one who caused it? If you hadn't come, the village wouldn't have suffered the way it did. Ah, so now you resort to blame. I see. That sounds like something you would say. That's good. Your basic nature remains unchanged. Crap. You said you need my power. What are you intending to do with it? You know very well. It is destroy Mother God. To destroy God? Yes, we will destroy God. That is our purpose. That is our destiny. Don't be ridiculous. I won't get involved in such a thing. If you want to destroy your God or whatever it is you're on about, do it by yourself. <laughs> you resemble your father. My father? You mean my dad? You know my father? That was a most delightful scream. I was enthralled by it. Nothing is more beautiful than a scream of death. What did you do to my father? What happened between you two? Hmm. Do you really wish to know? There is no use in you knowing it now. What? Your power is still beneath that needed for my purposes. Anything unusable must be tried until it becomes suitable. What? And then... Something comes from beneath. A giant worm. What the hell is that? Fairy. If you die here, then so be it. You may indeed gain some happiness from not knowing. I'm sure that is not what you truly want. If you want to know the truth and that is what you want, isn't it fate and this is what you do? You must show me that you have attained the level of strength I require. To 
do that, you must destroy others by pursuing your own strength. Then you will gain all that was lost in exchange for a scream of death. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, we're not finished talking yet! And it's time for our actually... Well, not the first, it's kind of like our second boss battle. The first one was the Ranka Dragon. This is basically the worm, it's a very simple fight. First, let's do attack on it, right, shall we? No damage! It absorbs fuel. So yeah, this is a fight we don't want to use the boosters. It does some damage as well. So if we do a triangle now, and use Repu. 79 damage. Yeah, that's not much, right? And every time you attack it, it will counter and take your fuel as well. So this one kind of sucks. But, now we can finally get used for our guided shot. Charging up. We didn't do much damage on the Dranka Dragon, but on um, this worm... Nah, not that much. 21. It will still counter though, so be careful. I promise they will go for a uh, regular attack. Just use uh, triangle. Like, we don't need to use uh, a cross attack because he doesn't do any damage anyway. He has so high defense that you need to actually use a death blow to deal damage. You kill, he'll take off your fuel, but that doesn't really matter that much. His fuel that he takes is too little. So Repu again. There's not that much HP, this, uh, this worm. It has about around 200, so... I think one more Repu should do it. Just let him take your fuel, doesn't matter. We have enough fuel anyway to finish him off. Need about a hundred, so ouch. Let's finish him off. There we go. Pretty simple. A lot of XP though, 1000. Build up again. Got an eyeball. So we beat the worm though, but what now what? Graph went away. What does this mean? Faye, are you all right? Faye, I'm fine. The gear seems to be broken, though. I am so glad that you are unharmed. The gear only temporary repairs made on it. They are not made to survive an outright battle like that. Faye? Uh oh. More of these units again. Oh no. They have your military. Not now. Faye, I think we should remain calm. Hmm? Faye? I guess Fago lost a thought about what uh, Graf said about his father and everything, so... Oh well. The gear broke down, so we can't fight these heavy people now, so we kinda have to get captured. Sadly. But don't worry. As you can see, they have taken the gear. Where are we going? Well, I don't know. We are on this uh, cruiser, I guess.
looks like Faye has a dream. There's the Graf, some other people. Let us join together. Whoa. That's creepy. I never thought we'd meet again like this. It must be fate. How ironic. But I'll never let you have him. <laughs> Even if it kills me. What does that all mean? How are you, Faye? You sleep well? Huh? Ah, well, sort of. Sorry I messed up. I was careless. The gear is a top secret experiment model from Kislev. It was only natural that Abby would also be madly searching for it. Faye? Are you hurt? You look so well. Well, I suppose you could say I was hurt. That man in black spoke of your father's fate. Is that what is wrong? There is that too, but... It's the other stuff he said. What happened at Lahan was all planned to get me to ride in the gear. So he claimed. That got me worried. Indeed. So it seems like everything that happened to Lahan was for a purpose done by this madman Graf. So he was responsible, but why? And what does he mean by destroying the god? Well, you see, the plot is very deep in this game. It's going to get even more, more and more deep as time goes by. But we will meet Graf again. We learn more about him and learn more about Faye's father later in the game. So don't worry, we will get there eventually. Next episode we're gonna see what we can do from here and then we're gonna meet some new characters and involve himself in another more of intriguing uh, storyline involving certain rebellious people trying to retake their home. In a way. Like, comment and subscribe, follow me on social media. That's quite for now. See you guys next time. It's my journey in Xenogears. Continue.